Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies, where three pills daily after meals while symptoms persist will apparently cure you of any generic ailment. This is a new map because we won the previous one, so that's good. So it makes us one all now. The first game we lost for various reasons and the second game we won for, again, various reasons. Um, those reasons being completely different. Basically, the first game got bogged down, poor designs, uh, not great captaining and just, yeah, started right in the middle of loads of empires. That wasn't good. Second one started in the bottom left on a smaller map and and uh, we made some high-level bombers and just, you know, better exploited the... Uh the uh, effectiveness of certain designs so that was good so we're going to try again and this is on a medium map with all of the standard settings I have tried a game earlier on the harder difficulty and I found that it's just not for me <laughs> I like to make uh, more I, I just like designing stuff in the game and the thing is with a high difficulty you really have to just go for the best of the best which is, you know, fine but um I'd rather just uh, take it easy, breezy easy, and um, see, well, not easy easy, but uh, medium and, you know, have a challenge, but also not get absolutely sledged. So that's hopefully this. So we are at the uh, bottom, as you can see, generic, and we have the um, star here, which gives us a 30% bonus in explosive damage, which basically means bombers, hopefully. And in fact, we do have the, uh, we, we do have a bomber there. As you can see, this is a fairly um, decent vessel. We've actually seen this uh, several times before. So what we want to do, is quite frankly go straight on the attack and invade off uh, Ototh. There we go. And uh, let's just see if we can start taking these out. Unless they've got flak, I am fairly confident in our ability to win this one. So we're just going to say move, we're going to say there, and then unpause it, and then we will crack on over there and hopefully be able to take them out. They had cannons there, but now they're out of arc, so this shouldn't take too long. We'll obviously, we'll put that on aimed fire, and then we will also uh, move it down. We might as well move down to down to there for now and then I'm um, gonna go around this suspendium island you see and then we'll go to there and there's the bombs dropping down now obviously I have got extra explosive damage so this is gonna cause a lot of damage as it uh, as it uh, keeps bombing there and in fact that's that's worked out for me that's a victory and we'll go for a brutal takeover we're not gonna mess around we're gonna go straight to there by the way we haven't selected any research so I'm gonna do that now um, I want to go for probably do want to go for how Poons, uh, or grappling hooks, grappling hooks maybe, we'll get a, a better border, or do we want to go for, well, what's going to be best for bombers, uh, we want probably, probably, um, pressurized spendium dust tanks and then large suspendium chambers, because we're going to make more high level bombers, so let's unpause it and we'll go over to this one here, and this is going to be another straight fight, so unpause it and then move over to there. I don't know what they've got in their main city. I have no idea, but uh, quite frankly, I'm not really too bothered because um, if I can take out the towns very early, then uh, we should be all right. We probably won't be able to take it um, in the first instance, though, because obviously they'll have um, they'll have ships that may be able to defeat me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make something similar to this one. Um, in fact, I could probably just save it and then copy it, but uh, I think I'd rather build one. So, as you can see from this, it is... Um can we edit it? We can't edit it here, no. Um, it's just over 500. It's not got a lot of coal or ammo. In fact, where is the ammo? Um, is the ammo just there? I think the ammo is just there. There's the coal and there's the ammo. Not a great way to build it, but hey-ho. Um, we've got a, a bridge on the front and then three bombers. And then obviously you got the... Um, you got the... Um, the engine pod there as well with suspendium at the back. So that's actually a fairly nice design. So what I'm going to do is design ship. I'm going to design something similar. Uh, we have made the Dresden before. There you go. It's 1,400. Uh, but we can't build this because we don't own that uh, large propeller on the back there. Um, it says tier 1. Actually, that's a thing. Build ship. I don't think we can. Oh, actually, we can, you know. We can actually build the Dresden. Oh, well, in that case, there's no point in me building a smaller one because, quite frankly, that should do us. So, let's just finish off what we're doing over here. Quickly move and uh, go to attack. Now, by the way, by the way, uh, this um, this here, this this could easily be taken out. Um, if we get one cannon shot in the wrong place, then that's not going to go overly well for us. But that's why we're charging straight ahead as soon as the game starts. And, wow, look at that. The first shot just absolutely annihilated the top floor there. And we've gone down... And we will start dropping more. There we go. Bang. Wow. The damage that these cars is insane. 
Uh, I'm just going to max speed it out because, quite frankly, I can. Obviously, it's on aim fire as well, so that's why it's taken quite a while to um, finish that. We are infiltrating the city, which for some reason you can then click view city straight away. And we can see they've got a cannon design, which I'm guessing is not going to have much of a service ceiling. So, the question is, do I attack now or do I wait? Currently, we are on uh, lax secret police and um, subsidies for research. And that should hopefully give us enough to build the Dresden sooner rather than later. The thing is, I have no idea uh, what's going to happen. Uh, do I refund? I'm not going to even repair them or scrap them because I'm really focusing on building the Dresden. So, we're going to max it out there. We might get attacked. Um, but that's just something that we have to. That's just something we have to uh, accept that might happen. So if we can take the far left first, then that'll be a big advantage for us. If we take this entire island there, it's making um, progress in land is going to be the issue because, as you can see, it's very densely populated. Also, there's um, stuff being taken out all over the place, as you can see. So there's all different types of um, attack there. Are these the same empire? I don't think they are. I think that's slightly different red. But they are attacking. So the Dresden's getting built. I will meet it up with uh, with this other vessel. And then we will go attack uh, Frog Castle. Which is <laughs> an interesting name. Let's go uh, max it out. And meet up. And they're meeting up. And then we will say invade. And this will hopefully allow us to uh, get this over and done with sooner rather than later. Sadly, I don't really have a very good service ceiling with the Dresden. But, or at least it's not a great service ceiling, but it should be enough to quickly rush forward and take that out. This one, however, we're going to have a bit of an issue with because we really need to get above them and uh, drop bombs in. Immediately what they've done is uh, go low. So what I'm going to do is say ram because this thing has got a fairly decently armoured and pointy front end. And we're just going to push it out the way, quite frankly. And we're already bombing our own... Uh, ship as well but this is okay we're getting out of the way and more importantly we're getting out of the uh, cannons way that's going to go on rapid fire because we need to keep dropping there and um, this will go on to aim fire and immediately what we wanted to happen has actually happened and that's the uh, suspendium chambers here or rather the suspendium balloons have um, well come detached from the rest of the main superstructure so the Dresden is doing its thing and attacking over here. They are both now out, which means I'm going to go back over and get another bit of bombing going on that one. Um, something's just fallen out the sky, and I think it's... Oh, no, it's not my other ship. I don't know what... Uh, I don't know why that's uh, done that. But it looks like we are crippling that thing. There's a bomb going sideways as well. Um, there's the bombs. Just edge a little bit further forward, see if we can get the other bomb in. This one we're going to put on aim fire now. Because we don't want to be chucking bombs all over the place. In fact, the Dresden can go a little bit lower. Obviously, that'll reduce the arcs, probably. But still, let's uh, see what we can do. Yeah, there you go. That should be about it. Alright. Victory. Uh, we're going to go for a brutal takeover because there's pretty much nothing left there to uh, deal with. So we're going to go back to there. Uh, they have immediately turned back around. So we now have some defences. I'm going to repair them. Uh, there's, they're not bad defences. They are not terrible. They're not uh, great though. But if we just quickly repair them or build uh, black citadels in places. Although no, cancel. Uh, how much is the how much is the dark cube version 3? 600. And that should hopefully... Um, Actually, no, no. Build building. Black Citadel. It's just there as a sort of token piece, really. It's a token gesture, really. It's just there because, well, if we don't have anything, then we might have some issues. So I'm going to start making inroads to this guy's territory, which hopefully won't um, take too long. Now, that was immediate win, that one, which is an interesting one. Um, that's because there was nothing there for me to uh, destroy. So I'm going to attack where their ships are, which as you can see have got a lot of rifles on it. Are they, they don't have any defences, and the problem here is that the Dresden is... It's not really built for this sort of thing. However, if we can bait it, if we can bait these guys, uh, then we might be alright. So let's just move the 
the other bomber. Oh, that is its service ceiling. Um, okay, Be new plan. I'm going to ram to there, and I'm going to uh, ram to there, and I'm going to see which one of us breaks first, um, because there we go. There's the ramming, and that's worked out already because their balloons have become uh, slightly detached from the rest of it. We will move over that one there. So there's the bombs from the Dresden smashing into that and uh, that looked really really cool and you can see see all the suspendium dust sort of because uh, obviously it's um, it's lighter than air it's uh, going up. That's good. I really didn't expect to uh, be able to do this but it's working out. Looks like that thing is all kinds of on fire so I'll move up above that one and um, We'll just rain destruction upon them. There we go. And that's another Vic and Terry. Brutal takeover and then evade Fjorden. Um, and, oh, they have some cool looking designs. They're all rifles by the look of it. So let's just see how we get on with this one. That's a big suspendium rock, so I'm not going to be able to get past that. Uh, this one, we'll move. We're going to work. We're going to work from the front back over. So we'll go to there. And hopefully it will go. Yes, it's going to go around the rock. That's fine. So we are going to take some damage here. I'm going to go on rapid fire on the Dresden because I think uh, we need to probably destroy them faster rather than efficiently. And bear in mind that the height we're at and the amount of bombs we have, I don't mind just chucking as much ordnance out and then taking out the targets, you see. I can't believe that one was still firing. <laughs> uh, if we edge the Dresden forward, we'll actually get uh, that bomb burn as well. But you can see just the effectiveness of these things. It sort of feels unfair. And it probably is. Um, <laughs> but as I said, the whole point is to try and make a... Try and make some designs that are going to be uh, a bit more entertaining if not uh, as effective because this is effective right we know how to do effective now um, <laughs> it's not about that um, let's just keep attacking we got 1400 uncontested victory brutal takeover so there's all them taken over so we now have um, as you can see two major cities and this one is uh, now got a large shipyard there which is good now any one of these can revolt and probably will revolt so you want to build a charger version 2 but I want to edit it because it's currently got grip shot cannons on it um, but I think I want to change it up a little bit it's very expensive for what it is um, do I change it uh, I can but the question is what to uh, the charger is interesting. Um, a lot of people have said put bombs on it because it means that when you go above something to try and take it, it'll then work out. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. There's the death rattle, which quite frankly is useless. Uh, the kingdom class was one of the first ones we made, and that was mm, a good idea, bad execution. We have the sterling, which is cool. Bot flies there. Uh, auto save, which is okay, a big string, which we really don't need. Uh, and we have the Coventry, which is unbuildable because we don't have rockets, we don't have telescopes, and we don't have ventral turrets. So really, it's just the these other ones. Um, what we don't have, to be honest with you, is a something that's got a decent service ceiling, but has um, weapons that have got good arcs as well. Like at the moment, we have cannon available. But, I don't know, is that a good idea? If we just have cannon. I want something that can quickly get somewhere and then just get rid of it. So just remove it from the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we make a... If we make something that can probably take out... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something quickly runs forward and then um, shoots away. That's probably what we want. And this is hopefully going to be that. So in terms of lift, we will use a suspendium chamber. We're going to put it there. We're going to have um, next to that. Actually, no, we need some way of going up and down. Currently, there isn't anywhere. Um, it's going to be probably quite a small design. 
At least that's the plan. We're gonna coal's gonna go ideally on the top there. We'll have quarters, and then we'll have. Well, we'll make sure we have our coal and ammo and that. That's fine. Um, what's our service ceiling? 133 meters. Not good enough. Remove that, and it gives us 184 meters. I don't think we need the size of the coal that we have there. Um, I think this is just going to be a very... What's the end game? What what am I looking for? That's the problem. I don't exactly know what I'm trying to build. Summit fast. Summit that's not... It's going to be able to get to a place and then take out what it's facing by just shooting it. So that's why I've gone with grape shot, just to put a lot of damage on the target as, 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 as much as I can. So, so bridge... Is fine. Um, like that. Crew quarters, yeah. Um, we just need a way for this to move now. So we're going to put that down to there. We're going to put a... Don't really need lift. It's 199. As long as it's 100 and... As long as it's... Around the sort of... 180 or... A, or no, no less than 180. I think we should be fine. Um, I can actually remove those and do that to uh, cheap out a bit. If I could remove those and do that, and then remove that, and then do that. That should connect us all up. Again, just trying to get every little, just inch out every little bit that we can. We need a propeller, and we need fuel. We need coal. I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to pull that down to there. We will then go for a coal store, so it is in resources, and we're going to have coal store. The problem we have here is it's right next door to that, which is something you don't want to do, because it will just break. Next to that, we will have propulsion, and I could have a large propeller, but that'll reduce our service ceiling far too much. Small propeller on the back would function, but not really um, how I wanted it. But that would work. It's got uh, nowhere near enough crew. Uh, we could probably remove these corridors and instead... Remove these corridors and put bunks in. And actually, what if I remove those and put in a propeller? Like that. Actually, better idea, um, like that. I know it looks like an explosion in a Gerda factory, but bear with me on this one. Hundred and eighty three meters service ceiling. It flies. So what's its weak spot? Well for a start. Uh, do I want the engine pod instead? What if I put an engine pod in? It would be quicker. 169 meters service ceiling versus 183. Service ceiling being the one that I want, really. Um, and with the engine pod in, it's only a, it's only it's only another one thirds quicker. So I think that is fine. It's not fine. If it ever gets set on fire, it's going to explode massively. So do I want to fix that with a fire point? Sadly, service ceiling reduces far too much. Uh, what's the other solution to that? Well, I could put a... I could put a large suspendium dust tank on the top, but then it'll immediately fall out of the sky, because that's re really its uh, lot in life, if you have that. Um, service ceiling 1 on the back, 150 metres. Uh, no, I think just having it as a bare-bones item would, would function. So what I need to do... 
Um, obviously, getting boarded is also really bad. Uh, we're going to have, uh, where is it? Over to Command and Crew, Crow's Nest, because we haven't got one yet. And we don't actually have access up to there, so we're going to do that. We're going to remove those two. We're going to have a berth and one and two. And that means we've got 18. So one more in there, and then we are fine. Right, so that is enough crew. 169 meters service ceiling speed, 94 kph, and it's an interesting one. Right, let's um, put some modules on it. We really, I really want the lift to be a bit higher, but is there a way of doing it without um, wrecking it? I don't think there is. One of those might do it. Let's go with that. I really... This is the first time ever that I want a suspendium... Pressurized suspendium dust tank. Anyway. Shapes and decorations. Let's go for... Some... Slants there. Nice slanty... Slopey bit on the back. Um, it'll actually look quite good when we... Put all the corners on. I think it'll look quite nice, actually. It's reducing this, the height of this somewhat, but I think we'll manage. And then finally, a one by one slope there. And there it is. You know what might look good? Let's try this. Have that prominently featured. Like a target. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have it so it, it sticks out the bottom maybe so we'll need a 2 by one like that and that or that For that, I think. I don't know. Uh, let me just check something. Uh, yes, I don't actually care anymore. Right, cool. So decoration, we will put a coat of arms on it. Just a medium. Medium will go there. We'll have a steel nameplate there. And we want to also paint it. And we'll paint it in our same colours as before. Red with... Um, some highlights so there's no real no real plan as should be evident by now from watching the videos so Oh, have I just come across the, the pattern that we want? Like checkerboard? <laughs> you know what? I don't mind that. Let's go to um, decoration. We'll get that coat of arms shifted um, and that one there. We'll, we'll finish the, the painting. Like that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, in terms of decoration, then, will that go over there? It won't, no. But I think it sits better. If I have a small coat of arms, maybe. Just below there. Then the nameplate. Okay, the obvious was staring me right in the face, because I've been watching Gavin and Stacey again, and, uh, yeah, we're calling it the Barry class. <laughs> we're calling it the Barry class. Right, okay. Uh, we will save the design, and uh, save that, and we'll build one of them, and let's just see what this is like. We're building it in Frog Castle, because that's our new place. Um... We want to send a spy a couple of places. We'll see what have they've got here. They've got a couple of defences and also a 
a real mixed bag of vessels and buildings, but yeah, we'll uh, hopefully be able to deal with that, but that'll be next episode. So, we have made excellent progress to start off with. It's a problem now, though, because as we're attacking over here, and these are not very quick, um, we can easily get attacked from the right-hand side, but... We're going to make uh, as many inroads as we can, take this area, and once this is taken, what we'll do is we'll we'll slow down a bit, we'll take stock, and we'll go ahead and go ahead and maybe put some defences, certainly on, like, say, uh, Walton here, because it's right next to these, so that's what we'll do. Okay, so, we'll try out the Barry class next episode, and we'll see how far we get. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.